Hello everyone, my name is Jiun Li. Let's begin with the case. What do you think is unusual here? There is a noticeable subchondral marrow abnormality. In such cases, it's crucial to carefully examine the overlying cartilage. Now, let's compare it with normal anatomy. On the right side, you can see a normal example. In the case of delamination, there is a thin line of near-fluid signal intensity beneath the deep zone of the articular cartilage at the tide mark, separating the non-calcified cartilage from the underlying bone and calcified cartilage. This indicates chondral delamination. However, there are no visible chondral fissures or fractures. However, while the overlying cartilage in the delamination appears and not violated, there is suspicion of an overlying cartilage defect at the margin of the delamination. Concealed chondral delamination typically appears as a separation zone that may be thin and regular or thick and irregular. The overlying cartilage surface may or may not be violated. Therefore, even if the cartilage surface appears normal, it doesn't guarantee the cartilage itself is normal. Concealed chondral delamination can easily be overlooked if not carefully assessed. A helpful clue in such cases is the presence of a subjacent marrow abnormality. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please remember to like it.